Hey guys, I've been doing these weekly videos. I'm up to week seven now of my HGH journey and so far very good. I'm, I just completed my first 10 vials of it that I bought. So I just ordered some more, which is right here. I'll open it in a sec. This is my unboxing of it. And um, essentially I bought five more vials because I want to continue it uh, for at least another month. So make it like two and a half, three months at least. We'll see from there because uh, as you guys know, it's a bit expensive. Like I just paid $750 for five vials of it of 17.5 IUs per vial. So essentially, uh, yeah, I'm going to pl continue planning using it at around 2.5 IUs a day, which I found for me, my body weight, 205 pounds roughly, and my activity levels. I just feel like that's good for me anymore. I'd probably be too much, although I could get away with it. But I found that that like a good zone. The, what they recommended was 1.75 a day. I was doing, but I just felt like that little extra more was giving me the benefits I needed. It's not like I'm I'm, I'm here to get super big or anything. But here, let's just uh, open it. So it comes in a box like this, and uh, right away delivered. It's delivered like essentially the next day. I would from a couple to make it easier to. Open the shit up. And as you can see, it comes in this, uh, this is like a little igloo, uh, to you want, so if you want, it's a like uh, refrigerated type of cooler. That's the word I'm looking for. It just pops right open, like like you're ordering like a, a human liver or like a dissected kidney or something. Just joking. Uh, that's, that's essentially what you get. As well as a one of these cooler bricks and what's in there five vials and one vial of the water that you have to mix it with so yeah let's show you that and this is the uh the dried freeze-dried hgh now when you mix water in with it i let it sit for a few minutes mix uh give it like a swish and then, then it's injectable. Well, I was going to, should I do it for this video? No, I'll just leave it. You, you can look at my other videos. I've, I've, I've done that before. But this is Omnitrope. It's a good brand, pharmaceutical brand. Uh, I recommend getting something that's pharmaceutical. I got a very good experience from it. Like my injuries, like for example, my foot. Uh, has has osteoarthritis and it had really bad crepitus. Crepitus being crunchy, crunchiness like <laughs> and poppy. Now I'm trying to do. Okay, there's a little pop there, but it was, it's not nothing to even the same extent. Uh, my left knee, uh, whenever when I was doing squats, which was one of the reasons why I got this <clears throat> on this on the first place, the squats was affecting my medial knee, the inside of my knee, in the menisci area. So I was unable to do squats properly. Now I do. Well, I take it easy. I'm not going hardcore, like maxing out all squats, but I, I do, I'm doing them and that's fine. And uh, as, as well as other exercises. And just general, like I work in massage and the wear and tear on the body on, on massage actually can be s substantial. And I feel like it has helped with that as well. And the sec secondary characteristics I'm looking for is like just general physique, and it is helping with that as well. I'm, I'm, it's helping my recovery more so. It's not making me huge or anything, but making me a little bit fuller and helping with the recovery and getting a few more reps in. <clears throat> now, what are the side effects? Tingling in the fingers, the carpal tunnel I got, but not too bad because at that limit, I'm doing the 2.5 around a, a day. If I did like up to four, I guarantee it would be a lot worse. But 2.5, it's like, yeah, I feel it. It's a water retention, but it's not bad. And that goes away when you stop doing it, apparently. The second thing is my voice has a bit more raspiness and a bit more phlegmy, especially first thing in the morning. So for, sometimes in the morning, I cough up like some shit. I don't know if it has to do with the fluid retention or the fact that maybe I was a little bit sick or something, a little bit of like infection, chest infection or something. I don't know. But I was for a while there coughing up a bit, a shim, really phlegmy, like uh, clear my throat a lot more. 
in the Raspidus, and I looked online, and sure enough, that is actually a side effect. Um, the other random thing is sometimes I kind of had, I don't say like a mood swing, but I did get a bit more emotional. Maybe I, I normally did. I don't think I was, not like Roy Rage, I didn't like flip the fuck out. But, yeah, I think there's some kind of cognitive aspect to it too. So I don't know. Although, on a good note, I normally have these cramps right here. And this wasn't, this wasn't even a reason why I took it. Like this is, I, I, for the last like six years, I've had cramps on my left side. Like I think it's like the colon area or the small intest or the large intestine to colon on that side. And uh, you know, I was a bit concerned to be honest because there could be a number of things like you have fucking colon cancer, you have fucking colorectal cancer, or some shit, or or just like uh, other things, Crohn's disease or like uh, inflamed other inflammatory issues down there <clears throat> but ever since I'm taking this I, I, I haven't had this that, that, that happen at all like this was a con like at least twice a week I'd be in pain from that uh, the other thing too is I was I sometimes had like kind of chest pains which is very concerning too some relatively of the young guy like 38 and it was because it's like fuck am I getting like angina or am I having like some type of like like fucking heart disease issue already like fuck I don't. I haven't had any problems. As you know, this shit can rebuild your heart, actually grow it, which isn't. That's why you don't want to abuse it. But it can also. I've read studies regrow it in good ways too. Like if you had cardiac issues, they they did it to brats with cardiac issues, muscle cardiac muscle issues like uh, pericarditis or whatever the fuck it is, which is like the surrounding of the heart. And apparently, it helped with that. Anyway, there's a lot of things that can help. And because it, it really grows everything in the body. I made videos on that explaining uh, the whole ph physiological process. I won't get into the, this video, but uh, I'm going to continue taking it for at least these five more vials. And uh, it's one of those things. Like, get on it. Do it well. Recover the way you need to do it. And then get off it for a certain amount of time. Then maybe in the future get on again. Or continue taking it on therapeutic use, therapeutic use for that three to six months until you get the benefits you need. Okay, well that's that. I'm gonna actually mix some right now and uh and do my nightly injection probably in about half hour or so. I'll, I'll wait a little bit because it's still relatively early. But thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions about anything about HGH, where I'm getting it, and what I'm doing. Please uh, leave in the comments below. Okay, thanks for watching.